As U.S. Ambassador to Israel under President Donald Trump, David Friedman was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for his role in crafting historic peace agreements between Israel and various Arab nations. That amazing story is told in a brand new documentary series called The Abraham Accords, and it's going to be airing right here on TBN. We're here this afternoon to change the course of history. After decades of division and conflict, we mark the dawn of a new Middle East. Ultimately, it comes down to one word. It comes down to trust. I did not see that coming. We got used to so many things that not going through. We were a pretty great team. We were a good team, that's for sure. <laughs> this bright day is for a bright future. It is an honor to welcome the host of the series, the Abraham Accords, Ambassador David Friedman. Mr. Ambassador, first of all, what an amazing story, and you get to tell it. And I can't think of anybody better because you were a true architect of this uh, stunning historic accord. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, an extraordinary uh, experience, an uplifting experience to retell this story and to, and to tell it the right way, you know, through the voices of the players, the participants, the ones who courageously led their countries to this uh, unprecedented series of peace agreements. So uh, it's a great honor, and, uh, and I really hope that uh, people enjoy it. Uh, the story itself is what's very powerful. Um, there were cynics that said, there's nothing gonna happen in the Middle East. Donald Trump will never get these people to the table. He'll never be able to bring them together. Yet it happened. Um, Give us an insight. What was the, the key moment at which you felt this is actually going to take place? We're going to get an agreement that is genuinely historic. You know, I actually think uh, my optimism began very early on when President Trump, uh, his first trip abroad, he uh, goes to Riyadh. He meets with 52 Muslim nations and he, and he challenges them in, in, in a way that no president had in the past. He said, you know, uh, radical Islamic terrorism is the battle of our generation. And I don't wanna have to fight this fight when it comes across the Atlantic. I wanna fight it right here and I want you to help me. We can be a good ally to you as well if you'll join with us in good faith, if you'll give up these ancient narratives, narratives of hatred, give up these uh, narratives of violence, you'll end this crazy idea about destroying Israel. Israel is the solution in the Middle East. It's not the problem. Come embrace the solution. And, and we were getting traction already in 2017 in 2018. You saw, uh, Governor, when we uh, moved the embassy in uh, 2018. You were there. I was there. You know, everybody anticipated this wave of violence. Well, there wasn't any. Why? Yeah. Because we had already spent over a year tilling the soil, you know, developing these relationships. And, you know, you saw it on the trailer. But it did come down to trust. You know, the, the, the players in the region felt that they could trust us, felt, felt that we would deliver on our promises that we could be counted upon. And, and, and it's not that much more complicated. Will these accords hold? Because the Biden administration seems to want to undo everything that the Trump administration did, including the good things. This was a great thing. Will they leave this alone and build upon it? The, the challenge is this. Every one of the Abraham Accords began with a bilateral agreement between Israel and an Arab country. But at the, at the point of the triangle, okay, right behind the two uh, uh, players was the United States a strong, engaged United States that could be counted on to play a meaningful role in the region, that could be counted on to keep its promises. And now you compare that to the scenes of America abandoning its allies, its friends, its American citizens uh, on the tarmac in, uh, in Kabul. And, and you, look at, you look at that picture and, and people are saying, can we still trust America? Mm -hmm. This is not the America that made the Abraham Accords. The America that made the Abraham Accords, you know, doesn't cut and run from an ally. And, um, and, and that's an issue. So uh, how that all plays out, I don't know. I don't think it will jeopardize the existing Abraham Accords, but without a strong United States, you know, standing on principle, standing on values, standing strongly in this region, I don't know how we can continue to grow them. Well, I hope uh, this administration doesn't undo something that has been remarkable. Ambassador David Friedman, thank you very much. Let me remind our viewers that part one of the must-see series, The Abraham Accords, has been released here on TBN. You can also stream it through the TBN website or on the mobile app to get all the details at the brand new 
Huckabee.tv. That's where you can get more information.